emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again later? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the comms prepper, the follow up video to my soldering project video. I got a lot of questions at how I removed the old solder from that circuit board to repair it before I resoldered it. And what I used is what they call solder wick. This is braided copper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in flux. I'm doing that off camera because I have it set in macro mode. And I'm going to put that on this joint here and then apply heat. And then what will happen is the wick will heat up and it will draw the solder off the circuit board into this copper wick. So I have the iron up to temperature here. I cleaned off the tip and we'll see if we can get this in frame for you. Now what I'm going to do is put a little dot of solder on the tip of that iron to help with the heat transfer. Let's see if you can see that dot of solder. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the wick in and bear with me I'm working around the camera here. And I'm going to place the wick on that joint and then I'm going to put the soldering iron on that joint and we're going to heat it up. And there you can see that that hole has been desoldered. You can actually see the, the components lead right there. So we suck that solder away without really damaging the board at all. The board looks good and that's uh, been correctly desoldered. Now I'm going to pause here and then I'm going to show you the uh, solder sucker I talked about in my previous video. Okay guys, so this time we're going to demonstrate how to use the solder sucker. I'm going to work this around. Basically this is a plunger activated like a vacuum. And what I'll do is I'll heat up this, the joint and then bring the solder sucker in and remove the solder. So I'm going to come in here and heat this joint and hit it with the solder sucker. And there you go. <clears throat> the solder sucker sucked all that solder out while it was hot and didn't do anything to deform the board. So I hope that answers your questions for those guys who sent them in, how I removed the old solder. You have two options. You can use desoldering wick or you can use a quality solder sucker. This one here is made by Soderpult. And if you watched my previous video, you can see what all this looks like in full size. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with desoldering techniques.